Yo guys, welcome back to another video here at Trader Journey. So I've been getting a lot of questions in the comments and in Instagram and across my social media about how to how to actually set up an account and how to fund a Tastyworks account. So I thought it'd be best to make a video to help you guys understand how how easy it is and, and what the current process is of setting up an account and actually funding the account itself. So um, as you can see guys here we're on the Tastyworks website so this is where you need to head to to set up a account I will leave this link in the description box below um, as you can see you can see there's different pricing different account types and um, they have individual joint retirement corporate trust and international if you're an options trader which which I, I guess I guess most of you will be you will need to select individual now they have two options for an individual account you've got a margin account and a cash account now cash account is what i'd advise any beginner trader to use and a margin account does carry some risk especially if you're selling options and if a um if for whatever reason one of your open open um contracts seems to go the, the wrong way and you, you end up with a massive loss you will be held um sort of liable for that that massive loss but it's always better to pay play with a cash account and have those cash the, the cash account funded with some money and um it prevents any massive losses and you can only lose whatever you are willing to trade within that cash balance so um if if you're a beginner i would always recommend to start with a cash account and you can always look to a margin account if you want to um want to look into different sort of strat strategies to use different types of um ways of trading options then you would then need to look into a margin account but for a beginner a cash account is more than enough to get started so that's what i would advise you guys to do is to set up a cash account you will simply click on open an account and follow the instructions there is a simple form to uh, fill in some of the details you need include some id photo id which which a passport will be fine if you haven't got a passport or driver's license would also be sufficient um, so you would need that those details some of the other details you will need um, also are a sort of id number for your a government id number and for for the uk for any of uk followers that would be your actual national insurance number so you will need that handy when filling in that form it, it is a very simple form to fill in if there's any questions you have on that you can feel free to reach out to myself or the customer service team at tastyworks and they're extremely helpful in getting through that form the form takes like i said around 20 to 30 minutes to complete once you've passed that you will then um, go through the approval stage and the team will likely get back to you within three to four working days for me it was three working days it was very fast um, but it can take up to a week generally speaking um, so that's that's how you set up an account is really quick really easy on the website they have some details surrounding the pricing and commission which is well below average uh, for the industry in from my perspective and um, the fees seem pretty fair it even gives you a summary of all the big sort of platforms and how they compare and they are by far the cheapest so um just another comment to i guess mention on the platform is it is very user friendly there's several sort of tutorials on the internet i myself have made one on my youtube channel so feel free to check that out if you're confused as to use how to use the platform if you have any specific questions feel free to dm me on instagram so um just a bit more detail about the account and and how it works so once you've got the approval for the account to go ahead and use and start trading on the platform you can then start to fund the account now i'm getting a lot of questions from international people mainly people from the uk as to how to fund the account now i would recommend that you use a a, a big bank to do this i.e natwest hsbc these types of banks the reason why is that because you're transferring money from a uk bank account to a us account when the uk bank account transfer the funds they need to have a us intermediary third party dealing with that funds and making sure it reaches this us tastyworks account and now if you were to use a smaller bank or a fintech bank these these sort of um newer banks fintech banks they actually don't use their own in-house third-party 
intermediary to transfer the funds they use sometimes a third party and then it can cause problems with lost funds and i've seen all sorts of horror stories of money going missing so i would definitely advise against that so um you'll see a lot of information in forums which is where i got most of my information again the customer service team will advise you to use a bank that has a us intermediary i myself use natwest which was very straightforward you just simply wire the funds put the us account numbers in um, which is provided by tastyworks and it's a very straightforward process the funds do take a bit of time as they're going international so you do need to wait a few days for that money to hit your tastyworks account when you do make the payment you need to make sure you reference your tastyworks account number in the payment reference that will ensure that tastyworks can allocate the funds to your specific account if you don't put the payment reference in you will risk obviously losing the money and tastyworks not being able to allocate your money correctly or even find the funds so um, definitely take take extra caution when doing that process when funding the account as you don't want to be left with lost money as that's possibly the worst thing that could happen from this process but like i said for me it was a very straightforward process very easy process if you've got any specific questions on any of the the things i've mentioned in today's video feel free to dm me or leave it in the comment section below and i'll get back to every single one of you i do get a lot of dms but i i always work to get through all the responses within 24 hours to 48 hours so feel free to meet, message me there i'll leave my instagram link in the description box below and uh, if you've got any recommendations or any any questions you have where you would want me to make a video on it leave that in the comment section below and i'll get back to every single one of you so thanks very much for watching today i will catch you all on the next video. Take care. Goodbye.